cool. So when you first became、um, a doula, and so that world is very like I don't know if that's a world necessarily, but it's it's really about the woman. It's about service. About it's about the knowledge. It's about the craft. So when you are going and you are creating, maybe like. A business from that. Essentially, you actually have to put yourself out there, though, and connect with the woman and establish yourself with services and things like this. What was that journey like for you? Did that come naturally, or was that like really like, ooh, like I really don't know how to do this? Talk to us about that transition from like learning to actually, you know, offering. So I'm trying to go back five and a half years to when this first became my path, and I think then. I'd been out of the sales and marketing and business world for long enough to, for that not to feel authentic to me anymore. So I, it was a little bit odd. Like, where do? How does this begin? How does this start? And what I essentially did, and it's funny because it's gone full circle. But、um, I kind of put my business out there on a donation only.、Um, mm. Yeah, where it, so my first four clients were、uh, people that didn't pay me. I'm not necessarily saying that's the best way to go because I do believe in an energetic and an energetic exchange. But at the time, that was the way that it went for me. And my business has purely grown through word of mouth. It really has. It it felt sticky to me, and it still does. But I do feel it's important for、um, doulas and birth workers. And any energy worker actually to know that just because you're providing a service to the world, just because you're、uh, working as a light worker per se, does not mean that you shouldn't expect something in return. However, it is that you receive that, right? So that I had to. That was a conclusion that I had to come to slowly.、Um, but yeah, it was not. It was not a natural process for me to get into this. I think actually, Beth, you may remember because you were the one that created my website. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was when I was beginning to get a little bit more serious about oh, let's create this as a business now, right? And let's get down to the more nitty gritty about me getting my face out there.、Right. Um, but yeah, it took me a little while. I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. I don't think there's anything wrong with taking your time to、um, get to the place where you feel like you need to be. We don't need、right. to rush all the time, right? Mm, loving that interview with Sean. So, if you want access to that whole interview, you can head to mermaid-moon.com/forward/slash/divine. And on that page, you're actually not just going to receive access to this full interview. You're going to get seven interviews with beautiful priestesses who are running beautiful, successful businesses in the world, but they're really staying true to their soul energy, their heart mission, the divine feminine. And they're also, you know, receiving a lot of abundance for it in a really, really good place in their lives. It just feels so juicy. So if you want access to that, if you want to learn from these women, and if you want to empower yourself to be in a place where you're actually making an income for your beautiful spiritual or wellness work, you can head to mermaid-moon.com/forward/slash/divine, and you're going to access those seven free interviews. So so much love, and see you on the other side.